I pretend to be looking down when it starts. I'm not pretending. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that, that's my review of the show. <laughs> that's called <laughs> One second. that's called panic. <laughs> and it's checking the mm. day. It's checking all of those things. Yep, she likes to get all her ducks oh, in, a, in the pond before the that. show We're starts. One minute early. Look at that. We're one minute early. Hello, you guys. Welcome to another Feel It Real oh. Fun for you. A double, double, two, oh, two. Mm. The 27th of April, 2022. Yeah. Birthday month is nearly over. I have had all of my gifts except for one. Except for one. That's right. Because we're not doing a daily present anymore. See, Too I, hard. I, I quit that group right there because they won't post my shit. And it keeps showing up on my thing. Well, share it. Share that. No, I've got like 300 things they won't let me post. Okay. Like, you, can, you can post dumb shit. Say amen if you believe it's going to come. <laughs> Thank radio. Okay. That? <laughs> Jesse, I sent you a PM, buddy. Hello, mm. Jesse. I'm in the mystification mode. I'm the mystification of the nation. Mystification of the nation. A mystification of the nation. Okay, but today's show is out. death, mm. dying, and manifesting. Death, dying, and manifesting. <laughs> what a lovely topic. Mm. Anyway. Look at all these Triple D people. Hey, if you're in Triple D or have been in Triple D, type it in because I'm all wound up because we start again in uh, well, a few, well, a couple of weeks probably. 16 days. Yeah. Ooh, uh, <laughs> okay. Look at that. Olive. Olive. Mm. <laughs> so, Jesse, answered and done. Damn, dude, you're just fast amundo. Good on you, Jess. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, go to easymanifestingmethods.com. Yep, that's the gift <clears throat> thing. Mm. It's the free gift. Make sure, like in all seriousness, because people tell me I, I have like typed in my email and I go and they've never typed in their email. Type in your email, hit the button, we'll send you something, look for it in the inbox and all that stuff, right? Mm. Meanwhile, remind me to check my spam box. I have not checked it for a week. <laughs> that means I probably got about 15 emails from people, shit, that got stuck somewhere. So, okay. Anyway, Tabitha, Join yo. Join our 90 day adventure at manifesting manifestingmasterycourse.com. That's right. That's the one you can sign up anytime, anytime, any place, anywhere, any day. Look, there goes Brucey Boy. I know. <laughs> After Timmy Lee. <laughs> mm. um, and for refunds, visit our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. And the big thing will be Dream Driven Day, but you all know that. Jesse has been slowly reappearing. He's like materializing. <laughs> right. Cool. So this all started today's show. All started with an email I got, right? Mm. And so we're going to dive into this because this was a couple emails back and forth. But this is really impotent, right? Potent. That's right. So we're going to oh. talk about things like expiration date, otherwise known as the use by date. Talk about the spark behind the eyes. Somebody tell me what lesson is that from Triple D? And mm. uh, remember, spark, spark, stick, and smoke. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Emma just went roll, rolling through. <laughs> you can always tell when there's a word, when we have the help is on the property. The help. The help. <laughs> the hired help. The hired help. <laughs> the hired <laughs> help hand. <laughs> mm, that's right. Yes. Okay. Anyway, so Victoria. So death, dying, and manifesting. Death, dying, and manifesting. Mm. Let's start out with what. So this came in an email. Ready? Mm. Go for it. People are dying all around me. Oh, my God. Now, you cannot imagine my response to that. Like, mm. when someone tells me people are dying all around me, mm. I want to know. Are, 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 I don't want to be your friend. Are you swinging <laughs> a stick? Do you got a knife? Is it a gun? Like, like, like what do you, is it poison? I want to know. So I ask, well, you know, so, so how are they dying around you, right? And, of course, it goes back oh, and listen, forth. They're dying. Sorry. See, they're, it's, <laughs> I'm joking. It, it's, uh, it's one of them. They're sirens. Sirens. Mm. Right, so it's like right, people are dying around me all the time. So, or you know, like uh, more and more people are dying all around me. It's like, all right, and I say, is this literal? Right, because I really want to know. And it's like, no, no, no. But it feels that way. So I got, got it. So you feel like everyone's dying all around you, right? Mm. So radio. So we start establishing some communication here, going on back and forth, mm. and uh, is the old them dying? Well, yeah, we could do we, we could head in that direction, in which they they actually went in that direction, right? Yes. It's like, yeah, but here's the thing, guys. Ready? There's this thing called the meat suit. Somebody type it in. The meat suit. Yeah, hashtag, the meat suit. Hashtag meat suit. Meat suit right? Yeah. The meat suit has an expiration thing. It's protoplasm. It breaks down. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. uh, 
<laughs> happens to all of us. Happens to all of us. We all die at some point. Yeah, there was some bacon in the fridge, and uh, the used by date we came and went. <laughs> yeah. And I ain't touching it. I mean, like, I've got this thing called, I like, when I drop the kids off at the pool, I like things to be a certain way, right? <laughs> so it's like, all right, you can give that $3 worth of bacon into the, the garbage fizzing. man. Yeah, or, yeah, not fizzing, right? So people are dying all around me. Yeah. All righty. I get it, right? So well, I still uh, cooked it up. Oh, yeah, she cooked the meat, not the meat suit. No. <laughs> it was a pig meat suit, technically. <laughs> yeah, and mm. the dogs love it. That's so. right. <laughs> yes. So today's Andy DeFresne co- quote, Victoria, this is from the Shawshank Redemption. Oh. Right. And Andy says, get busy living or get busy dying. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is not only did Andy DeFresne say that, but also Red did. Jeez. It was later in the movie. Right, but this is really important as far as I'm concerned because what was, was the movie? Oh my god, I'm just gonna go now. Like I can't believe you said that. <laughs> well, I know I've heard, I've, 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 I've heard it. It was from oh, Shawshank. Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, mm. that was ice. I used I used to use that for trainers training. Right, mm. like would take like six weeks to watch it. Right, talk mm. about good fun because there's so many yummy bits there. Like mm. when Andy's walking into the prison and he looks up. Yeah. Right, a lot of people miss something there. But anyway, mm. so get busy div- living or get busy dying, mm. right? I really get it. Somebody you love dies, something that you love dies, shed a tear, right? But uh, you got, you really, really get to just, uh, well, Victoria, mm. uh, let's go to, we did the Andy Dufresne quote and the yes, red quote. Did. And uh, let's do the Neville Goddard quote. So now from Neville Goddard, mm. <laughs> who's dead, by the way. Yeah, yeah Neville's <laughs> dead. Yeah, but so, so, <laughs> by the way, I love these ones, man. I got another one. Like, I wish Neville was here. I'd really like to learn from him. It's like, right, yell, right? I'm here. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wish I would have learned from Abdullah. Right, yell, go there. Like, like, seriously. But anyway, because there's always an excuse to avoid living. But mm. let's continue, Victoria. Okay. So Neville says, when the desire is upon you, that is the time to accept your wish in its fullness. Keep going. Claim possession now and let it objectify. Oh, sorry. And let it objectify itself in its own strange way. Oh, my. I I could almost never figure out anything. That never happens to me, but... Go ahead, Victoria. Do not say it'll take six months or a year. Oh, yeah. Let's condition it, right? It's mm. going to take a long time. The minute desire comes upon you, assume it is already a fact. Already. So let's talk about a few things. Number one, the meat suit has an expiration date, a use-by date. The meat suit is going to drop over and die. That happens, right? The, 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 the sooner you just get okay with that, the more you can live, by the way. Mm. So... Uh, the meat suit has a use, use by date. Hashtag meat suit, hashtag, hashtag use by date, right? With two separate hashtags. Yeah, why not? Just what you, <laughs> we'll drive that woman a little nuts today. She doesn't have nothing else to do, right? <laughs> Next, you're the spark behind the eyes. We hit this probably somewhere around two, week two, week three in Manifesting Mastery course.com right uh we address it early on we bump back into it in the pearl of great price and later on with fraud or god we bump into it there as well because this is really important you're the spark you're what animates this thing right you are what walks the dog all right don't let the dog walk you Mm -hmm. uh number three see i got bullet points this is really important to me we don't die right Mm -hmm. in the twink of an eye you go on your next adventure I can promise you this. I can promise this with your four-legged friends, your two-legged friends. You, you slip out, you keep going, right? You, you, you know, literally, uh, one of your dwelling places is your body. Think about this. The state that you most commonly return to is your dwelling place, Neville says. I concur. But I imagined up something that put me in a, in a body with a whistle stick, right? And a whistle stick. Hashtag <laughs> whistle stick. She doesn't have a whistle stick. I've I checked, right? <laughs> Believe me, right? <laughs> First thing you check, hey, let's go out on a date. Let's check and see if they got, mm, right? <laughs> All right, I, I'm into flesh. I check, Dad, they carrots, don't. Right? Yeah, all right. Not a carrot kind of guy, mm-hmm. right? So uh, in the twinkle of an eye. Now, here's the cool thing. Uh, is it okay to mourn? Absolutely, right? Is it okay to become obsessed? I'm not a fan of getting in orbit around anything. Right? Because as soon as you get into orbit around something, you lose you. 
right? You're at the center of the circle. You're the fire at the center of the camp circle thing you do, right? <laughs> so uh, death. Here's one thing that we keep noticing, right? People all the time are killing their dreams. There's a thousand and one ways to kill your dreams, but from what I can tell, it comes down to two things, dreads and distractions, right? So somebody dies, something that you love dies, that's okay, mourn. Mm. Right, but don't lose yet. Don't lose you, right? Would you, right? Yeah, you know, if I, you know, I, I had a, I moved from Pennsylvania to Australia, right? How cool is this, right? And there are people that miss me. That's fine. I don't want their lives to stop, right? You know, just because somebody that you love or someone you went to school with died doesn't mean that your life has to stop. My, or they move away. Or they move away. It's the same like thing. Mikey. Yeah, my buddy Mikey just moved. He put up a post last night. It says, leaving later, oh, no. right? Well, I miss him. Yeah, he helped get me here. He played his role, right? He was like he was like the alpha contact, right? Think about that. Alpha. Alpha contact. And who was beta? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Leanne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. And should say, bloody hell, I'm not beta. <laughs> yeah, she'd give yes. me shit if she no, saw the I show. Mm. Okay. But here's the big thing. Stop killing your dreams. The meat suit will die, right? Your friend's meat suit will die. One of us gets to go first. I might just, if she starts going real fast, I'll just drag her up and we'll step out in front of a bus together. I'll say, Victoria, look here. Well, hopefully what the a... dogs are gone by yeah, then. Yeah, exactly. Because we can't and, just you know, And we all step out in front of the bus together. <laughs> oh, oh, four of us. <laughs> right? That's when you get life insurance and you leave it to the bus driver. Like, yeah, like yeah. seriously, because yeah. you've destroyed him. <laughs> yeah, you've destroyed <laughs> his. You've destroyed his life. Two people you know? and two dogs. Yep. <laughs> so whenever you step out and you wave, you just point to your pocket. <laughs> That's important. You got to get that, right? Yeah. Uh, don't get stuck in the drama. Don't get stuck in the dreads. Don't get stuck in the distractions. Mom dies. Dad dies. Somebody went to school dies. Think of it as just like they've moved away. They're just on their next adventure. Here's the cool thing. You can imagine lovingly for them. And I can promise you, you'll experience things like after my one cat died, I know it was still causing mischief. I watched it, right? <laughs> Screw with the other cats. I had a dog come back as one of my cats years later. Yeah, you, know, you can't, you know, this, I get this, you know, the kitten gets born and it, and it starts behaving really strange. And I was like, you seem like an old friend of mine. And then he had like a goofed up piece of fur like my old friend. And it's like, interesting, mm. right? Yeah, we were always screwing with each other, hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I can promise you, if you really start to buy consciousness is the only reality, you're going to stop buying. You know what? The meat suit is matters. The meat suit just gets in the way if, if you let it. Because mm -hmm. if it's not your meat suit, it'll be her meat suit getting in my way. It'll be what the meat suit politician does, that kind of thing. Stop killing your dreams. Right? Just stop killing your dreams. Right? Your dreams, uh, do they have a use-by date? They just might. Right? You keep ignoring them. Mm. Mm. Right? Not a fan of that. Mm. This is where we go into the commercial for DreamDrivenDay.com. Join us. In all seriousness, look at the way these kids live. And the Dream Driven Dayers that are here, uh, if you'd comment on that post I have up, it's in the pin post right now, I'd really appreciate that. If you've already commented, put up another one. Right, because there's always more to share. <laughs> yeah. Because I swear to God, like, uh, I mean, I, I've lost people. I've lost old pets since I've been here. You know, my ex reaches out and says, hey, you know, another one died. I mean, th these are animals that I was close to. My grandmother died. I get it. Mm. But don't let, oh, my God, everyone around me is dying. No, they're not. The older you get, the more it becomes seemingly true. It's like, because, I mean, you know people that are old, right? Because <laughs> you're old. Right? Yeah, it got you. <laughs> right. It's like when you're a teenager, you go, you know what? Everyone around me is dumb. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. Cool. why. Yeah. Yeah, right. When I was a teenager, I looked around and said, everyone's really dumb. By the time I hit 30, I'm going, boy, was I stupid. Right? Yeah. I did some dumb things. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah. I think that's pretty good. That's do, you, nice, do you think I covered anything? I mean, everything. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you covered anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I do love that Andy Dufresne co quote. Yeah, get mm. busy living or get busy dying. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So, yep. Victoria. Yeah. So what we'd like to know is tell us what was your hashtag, Strawberry Bert? 
Mm. That's probably actually that is my strawberry bit because I just I loved that movie, and um, oh, and he goes off to build his boat and the guy finds him. Yep, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> um, yeah, and such a beautiful quote and so true. So many people I know, one in particular who's just busy dying, <laughs> not busy living. So yep, yeah. Yeah, don't kill your dreams. Meat suit's going to die, but you don't got to kill your dreams. Mm. Stop doing that. Mm. And, of course, join us in dreamdrivenday.com. <coughs> Notice what excuses you have. Oh, mm, waiting for grandma to die so I can get the money. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't sir. Have to Just kill her. No. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yep. Grandma, Sorry. we're taking the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you've never been on a bus before. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And what was your hashtag? By the way, bit? Jess, why am I dying to live if I'm just living to die? Right. Yeah. So, nice. Yeah, you know, a lot of people are dying to live, right? Yeah, really. I mean, yeah, that's good. You just mm. Mm. start living. Cut through the, all the red tape. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. <laughs> what was my strawberry bit? Yeah. You know, I just remember probably the first or second time we watched uh, Shawshank. You know, like it's always a treat for me. And I mm. just, I, I look at Andy, and when he's walking into the prison and he looks up, right? Two ways to interpret that. But if you really notice, I look at, when I see Andy looking up, there's just a part of me that gets, he's getting, yep, I'll get out of this place. <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm. And he didn't let the dream die. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Okay. So that plum. was our hashtag mm. strawberry bits. While you finish typing in yours, go to easymanifestingmethods.com. By the way, I'm going to the pool today. Look at that. Yeah, look so how got prepared all my stuff he is. On. I'm all preppered. He's busy living. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I put this on as a reminder because this is how practical as this is. As a reminder to go to the pool. No, no. As, <laughs> as a reminder of. When I decided to not let my dreams die, when I stopped killing them with arguments about uh, yeah, all the stuff, yeah, th they changed the law that day here. Mm. And, and, and this is important. This, mm. as, as soon as you go, rightio, I surrendered to walking into the pool. Okay, and now I'm going back to the pool. Mm. Right? Mm. Let, this be, let this be very practical. Don't let it just be a concept. Right? So... Anyway, sorry, Victoria. I, That's all right. I just jumped on top of you. Join our 90 day adventure at manifestingmasterycourse.com. That's right. 90 day adventure, $97. Mm, that's American, by the way. If you live in some other country or Australia, they all do all these conversion the rates convert. and shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah. not my fault. All right. Um, and for refunds, visit our YouTube channel, Feel It Real Fun com. That's right. And join us in dreamdrivenday.com because why? Mm. You can. Wait for ages until <laughs> someone dies, and then you'll be sad. And then just... <laughs> How long can you make the sentence go on for? <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, you know what's happening today? What? I'm going to the pool, right? Mm. I already said that. Joe typed it in, right? I just mm. love when this happens. But meanwhile, Victoria's making the yummiest freaking lunch ever. Mm. Like it's got a, it's got a mm in it, mm in it, and it's just like mm. I can say. Yeah, good. It's a green curry. Yes. But it's with seafood. Mm. Yummy red snapper and prawns. Mm. And noodles. And lots noodles. of yummy veg. Noodles. Yeah, really yummy. Noodles. How much fun is that? I yes. get to play with pool noodles today and eat curry noodles <laughs> today. Right? <laughs> yeah. See, because I could make up something about, well, you know, something has to die. We have to sacrifice having a good meal because I'm going to the pool. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll just have a hoagie. Mm. <laughs> All right. A hoagie. <laughs> What's that? You know it's great. I love saying <laughs> shit that you don't know about. She's had her first two fish sandwiches. Turns out that they'd call them fish rolls here. Yeah. They could call them fish hoagies, though. We don't use that word. I don't I know. know what a hoagie is. <laughs> Ain't that great? See, I've just dropped a hint. <laughs> Dr. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. Thanks. I, I want to know how many people know how to diagram sentences. All right. Let me know. Diagram. Diagram. -a. Like, say, yeah. there's got to be a. Oh, well, you do a thing and, and a that and a that, and, 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 and you got those, and you got the things that come off of those. 
Well, yeah, Dr. Brian doesn't. Really, you don't know how? You're, you're a linguist, for God's sake. You're a doctor of <laughs> languishing. <laughs> doctor <laughs> linguishing. All right, really? <laughs> All right, I got to go. To the pool. To the pool. Mm. Okay, you guys. No we'll dreams catch us dying here. What's happening tomorrow? So you've got uh, Joe Weldon. Jumping Joe the Weldon. initials, Joe Weldon. Uh, jumping Joe Hello, Andrew Weldon. Villanueva. Andrew Villanueva um, dropped me up personal note what t so we'll do a late show tomorrow <clears throat> uh no it'll be the normal time oh normal yeah and there oh no actually it'll be uh there may be no show tomorrow not sure yet because okay go to tomorrow. <laughs> look at that see we're we're having problems marital right? problems <laughs> schedule problems right <laughs> okay but we won't let the dreams die mm. oh dear god see you see you i think it was a good show the ending like we just didn't nail the ending though Why, what was wrong with the ending oh it just keeps going it always keeps going with you.